Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this week's video, I told you guys last week that I would show you how to melt wax bracelets. And so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so that you're notified every time I post a new video. So the materials you're going to be needing for today's project is the bracelets that you can either have any other kind and these are my turtle bracelets which, which are for sale on my Etsy if you want to go purchase one or if you want to make one I posted a tutorial for them last week. I will leave that link in the description and so I just have four that I'm going to do because I have to melt them all. Um, but. You're going to need those bracelets, then you're going to need a tea light. I have mine in like a little candle holder because it's a lot easier to move around so I don't burn myself. And then just like a lighter or something to turn the candle on. So since you are using fire, I'd recommend make sure you're being supervised or you can ask your parents to do this because at first I didn't know how to, but now that I've done it for a really long time, I know how to be super careful. But don't rush because working with fire can be dangerous and so make sure you're safe when you're doing it. But I know a lot of people wanted some tutorials so I'm going to give one to you today. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is light up your candle. I just realized this looks really, really pretty on the camera. Um, and, oh, I forgot to also mention you're going to need scissors, but scissors aren't hard to find. I'm sure we all have scissors. So you are going to start by cutting. I'm going to start by doing the knots. I think that the knots are the first thing you should do. And you're going to cut it decently close to the knot. Maybe leave half a centimeter. Don't leave too, too much, but also don't cut it really, really short. And then you're just going to put it on the fire, wait for it to melt a little bit, and then with your finger, you're going to quickly push it on to the rest of the knot. So I can't, like, go slow because then I'm going to burn myself, so I'm going to do it quickly and then explain sort of what I'm doing. And if you don't want to use your finger, you can also always use your table, but I've sort of got, I've gotten used to it, but obviously don't, like, touch it directly when it's hot. And sometimes it's going to start burning, and that's normal, and it's also pretty much going to turn black but you just wanna make sure that you're pushing it on. So like that, I used the table that way I didn't even burn myself that much. And so it just looks like that, nothing special. And then same thing with the other side, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cut it a bit shorter. And then if it catches on fire, just blow it off and then push it on. And just like that. So now the knots are sealed it should look something like that. And so pretty much the last part you need to do is this little centerpiece. Now, depending on your bracelet, some bracelets will need you to melt more. For instance, if you're doing one of these, which are like um, the basic type of bracelets, you will also need to melt this part right over here. If you guys want a tutorial for one of these bracelets, let me know in the comments down below. All right, so the next part is just these the closing part and so again you're going to cut it you're going to now you want to pick on which side you're going to melt it you can melt it on this side or the other side you just sort of go where it's pointing since this one's pointing here i'm just going to go ahead and melt it this part's definitely harder so um this might take a couple tries to get like your angle right because you don't want to get your finger too close to the fire just like that got it on and then you press it on and then same thing on the other side just always be careful because sometimes like it'll catch on fire and then it's gonna start melting for a long time so like be extremely cautious when, it, when you're doing this just like that and just I'm gonna move the fire off to the side because it's burning my hand and just like that you've pretty much melted the bracelet and then you just want to make sure that you can pull these strands out sometimes the melting sort of gets them caught okay it seems to be working I'm gonna try it on and then for closing these, what I usually do is I just hold one with my hand and then the other one with my other hand. And just like that, I think it looks super duper cute. I think that in general, these bracelets are so nice. And so you can melt really any bracelet with the tactics I just showed you. And so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and do these other three and I'll be back to show you guys the final product. All right, so just like that, I finished all four of them you can see that each of them now have melted 
knots and melted centers and they all look super duper cute when you put them on looks really really nice and so if you want to purchase one of these they are up on my Etsy I don't know if they're gonna be up by the time I post this but if they're not then stay tuned for my summer launch I have a bunch of new products coming so let me know in the comments down below what other bracelets you would like to learn they can be either with wax thread because now I've started to experiment a lot more with these or it can be regular knotted bracelets but anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so that you won't miss any videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!